Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. We just got to the profane capital, and I'm trying not to rest at the bonfire so that I can go get some stuff, get some keys and stuff, and then return and not have everyone respawn, although that might just be the case. So, um... We're just going to grab some items here real quick. Um, rusted coin. And uh, we can see here that there are all these statues of people doing things. I believe these are meant to be... Um, well, I guess you could probably jump down there if you had spook or something, or your cat ring might work. Um, I think they're supposed to be like burnt here. Well, they certainly look like statues to me, like they're on pedestals and everything, so I'm not really sure like what that's supposed to be. another gargoyle. We'll f fight another one down there. Yeah, we can start to see things here very clearly now. Uh, we're not going to go here right away, but uh, yeah, here is the uh, profane flame, and then you can see some jailers in some white garb uh, tending to it. And the profane flame can shoot at you and do all these crazy things, so I don't know. It's kind of one of those cool things about the series where it's like so not answered that they're just like, this is just a thing. You can hear something weird. Uh, I think we gotta go this way. I think that's those, uh, no, I think that's those rib-caged, long-haired women. They're in a swamp below us. And they're trying to make it so that we can fall down on them. Yeah, there, there's one. All right. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this uh, swamp. I guess we could put the poison bite ring on, although we're wearing two things. We'll... Yeah. All spells are removed. Okay, just my homeward. Just fine. Um. Is this toxic? Yeah, it is. Oh no. Okay, well, there's nothing interesting. There's a, a gem or something. So, oh man. How do we cure toxin? Does this cure the ailments? Okay, so it doesn't even matter that we are wearing this. Um, I might as well put this on. Um, I think there's something unique out there, but it's not like a weapon or something like that, so. Uh, 
Alright, and now we're going to fight these very interesting enemies, which to me look like the uh, Hand of um, Manus. I don't know if they all wake up. Oh no. Oh look, that's Manus's hand. Okay, this is not going to work here. Okay. Evidently, that's not how you do that section. Toxic. Oh, and now everyone's... Now everyone's revived. That sucks. Let's see, where's the hole? Um, yeah, so what am I going to do here? Where was the... The path up. To get under the roof, I didn't see that. Oh, there is a ladder up there. Okay, I just missed that. All right. Um, oh, come on. Um. Might be able to take on one of these guys. But this area. Oh my god. Oh, and he makes me toxic. Oh boy. Oops. Okay. an egregious use of those items. Oh no. Okay. Wow. Oh, they're so... Oh, great. Definitely want to kill one of these guys. Creepy. So we get Eleonora. I wonder if I have anything else that cures toxic. Guess this would be the place to look. Um Oh, here we go. I didn't realize I got any of this stuff. That's handy. Alright. That makes it a lot easier now. Okay. 
Oh, there's that one guy in there. I probably should have just taken him on. Okay. There's a guy up here. Oh, boy. Oh, he's got that torch. Oh, that hit me. Logan Scroll. Secret scroll of the profane capital court sorcerers containing sorceries of Logan. Give to a sorcerer to learn Logan's sorceries. The court sorcerers use this scroll to claim heirship to Logan's legacy. Though how that claim stands up to closer scrutiny is another story. So yeah, he used Soul Spear right away. Alright, so... Wrath of the Gods. Primal fo form of force. Wrath of the Gods is an epic tale, which force is but, wolf but a woefully incomplete version of that yarn. This primal account of profound fury emits a shockwave that also inflicts damage. All right, well, we definitely don't need to kill these guys. Um, is there any other, is there an item here? Yeah. Okay. Court sorcerer stuff. Nothing there. And then rubbish. Oh, great. Is there nothing in here? All right. Oh, it's just that one guy up here. I see. But I don't need to kill those guys. All right. So now we need to go save Sigurd. Oh, come on. Come now. Come now. requires a key. I got it for you, buddy. Ooh, covetous gold serpent ring. Definitely be using that. Oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, no, please. I've my own road to take and a duty to fulfill. That is so. Ah, no. All right. So we got our Titanite Slab. Titanite Slab for weapon reinforcement said to once belong to the gods. Titanite Slabs are smithing materials of the gods and weapons reinforced with slabs will be admired no less than their precious legendary weapons. And yeah, this is the image that we were finally able to get that has all the runes on it that someone kind of decoded, uh, you know, an assumed meaning of those runes. And, you know, some were flipped and some were this and it became this big search that everyone was going through and um, that's kind of interesting um, you'll have to search Google or whatever for that I can't remember who was working on that but basically the three lines kind of stated the three uh, 
ages, the Age of Ancients, the Age of Fire, and then the Age of, I don't know. All right, Jailer's Key Ring. Ring of keys to the earth filled dungeon held by the Jailer opens most cell doors. On what grounds do they remain imprisoned, considering that by now they are mindless hollows or unrealized gibbering fools? Um, and that just brings us down here. I would just assume... Because I'm just trying to free Carla at the moment. And this is all we do in this area, correct? Like, I mean, we can get the other stuff in there, but I'm not even going to do that. Not interested. Maybe for a uh, for a loose ends video or something. But so what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just head back. Well, I guess I can do that via by here. Right, it'll be quicker to just use the homeward bone. And then get to um, Irithil Dungeon. And then we have this. I don't know what this is. I think it's just a yeah, the rest of the gold coin is not much of anything. Oh. Simple gem from the jailer. Interesting. Um, and then we just want to go... Here, I believe. Nope. Is it across the way? Prisoner Chief's Ashes. I'm just going to go back and read those. Umbral Ash of the Prisoner Chief of the Catacombs. With this, the Shrine Maiden will prepare new items. The prisoner chief used his clout to hoard all manner of things, but died without putting them to use. And then I guess we'll go to the profane capital and we'll... I wonder if the profane capital was below Irithyll or if... Um, Or if Pontiff Sullivan, you know, came around during the time when the lands were converging. You know, is this where this normally is? I mean, this kind of looks like a mashup, the way that, you know, it was mashed up against the catacombs and such. A 
that's kind of interesting. It gives us like a little bit of a timeline that maybe after the land started converging, then Pontus Sullivan started, you know, doing his rule or whatever. Oh, wrong way. Oh, it's even not there, okay. There it is. And there's a jailer here, isn't there? Yep. Oops, I don't mean that. Ooh, nice. Jailer trousers. Oh, we didn't read the saint stuff, did we? Trousers worn by jailers of Irithil Dungeon. I think that's just the people in the next door. Trousers worn by the court sorcerers of the profane capital. Oops, we need to read those too. <laughs> Trousers worn by jailers of Arithel Dungeon. The jailers were among the few survivors inhabiting the profane capital, later serving under Pot Pontiff Sullivan. Yeah. Perhaps the screams emanating from the cells helped them forget their old home. Trousers worn by court sorcerers of the profane capital. These figures uh, may have also been oracles. There are many sorcerers who claim heirship to the great big sage, big, or the great sage Big Hat Logan, and the profane capital houses one of two leading schools. Interesting. This tall, dark headpiece suggests there may have been also, also been oracles. Interesting. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. She's a heretic, huh? We know about heretics. We like heretics. Logan was a heretic, Ingi was a heretic. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Nope. Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. That's so, a good way to describe what them. What business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. Yes. You're here to save me. Carla's a really interesting character. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? She's a shard of Manus. Just like Dahlia and uh, Nashandra and Ilana and uh, Alsana. I wonder if she sought power in the same ways that those other four did. Oh, really? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Great. We'll talk to her at the end of the episode and do all the stuff with her. But for now, let us actually dive into the profane capital. And, um... try to clear this area out. This area is small and not all that uh, okay so yeah the profane flame is attacking us so we get close and you can see all the burnt. Now these are the actual citizens. Can he come in? OK. 
crap. One of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of this area is that, well, it's uninteresting, but there's so many. It's so dense. So small, oops. I like the shield as the wing. But it's just so small and it's so dense, like there's just all these things right next to each other. You can see the, uh, I guess, I don't know if this is meant to look like wealth or just like, you know, cooking implements. Can we do this? Or do they all come? They don't make your health go down. But they are super weird. Okay. Take both of you down. Hmm, they drop rusted coins, interesting. I hope they drop like they're set. I know that they drop there. I know they drop their uh, dagger. Yeah, handmaid's dagger. Dagger used by the handmaids of the profane capital. Each successive attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. Blind spot. Use against shielded foes to break their guard by attacking from the side. So yeah, there's this statue. I mean, I, I imagine that the profane flame is like a thing that like that you can control or that you can pick up or whatever, because I think it was probably placed there later in that very like, so many rusted coins here. I guess that's because There was like all the wealth here or whatever, like after everything burned up, it's where all the coins are. Oh, we got those arrows too to look at. Oni Slayer, great arrow, made from the feathers of an aged crow. It is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. Destroyed. No, uh, large arrows used to destroy giant horned oni in the eastern land. The only thing I know about oni are that they are a like a Japanese demon. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Almost done with the area. And then we can fight the boss. Like, there's just so many of these people here. I probably can go in there and just take them all on, but when they gang up on you, you know, it's just like, it's hard to kind of manage. But let's try it. Yeah, because they have range stuff, I mean, that's the main problem. Oh yeah, and there's... He had another one of these things. Again, it's so condensed. guys. Oh. Endure a post and all that. And if things weren't bad enough, or condensed or whatever enough, I think all three of these are mimics. These two are. Great shield of glory. Oh, didn't need to use that. A great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boasts the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina or regeneration speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets indolence. Shield bash. Okay. And that's nice. Okay. I definitely don't need to summon, summon anyone here. Um, we have a, we're gonna have help. In comes Sigurd with the storm ruler. of Katarina have come to uphold my promise. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. So they had a promise between each other. We'll probably learn a little bit more about that. Oh wow. I think we're just going at it. So you need the Storm Ruler, and then you need to equip that. And then 
mind. Charge it. Oops. Wait, how do I do this? Oh, do I do it like... all your stamina away. Yeah, if you try to fight him normally, it's just impossible. Like, you just chip away at his health, like, not even... Can Sigmar die? Or Sigurd died. Oops. Didn't charge it all the way up. So that's that. It seems I'm in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the giant's filth. <laughs> well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. You deserve this one. You are a true friend. Oops. Best of luck with your duty. So, because we got the final Lord of Cinder, we get drawn away. Who is that? Alright, so if we kind of go along with this, we're going to proceed with the game. So, um, that's going to be for another video. Uh, for now, we're going to finish kind of what we started. Um, first of all, let's go back to the I love how that texture fixes itself I like how no tester like look down and here's the shortcut that you can do if you know your way around All right. Ooh, <laughs> it seeks you, but I outran it. Um, so yeah, I think you can actually, if this isn't the last, um, if this isn't the last boss you fight, you can see uh, Sigvir die here. That's all his stuff. We already read that, all that stuff. We didn't read the storm aware though. Which now we have two of. Greatsword of the Broken Blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for the residual strength of Storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Storm King is the skill. So yeah, it seems like Yorm, like 
became a um, you know a lord uh, well a lord of this of the profane capital and everyone doubted him and so he gave them a storm ruler just in case he would go corrupt or whatever and uh, and then also to a, a dear friend who I don't know how Sigvard and Yorm are friends but um, but then you know a <laughs> the everyone burned up so those humans couldn't have uh, countered him because they all died uh, that's why there's just a storm ruler sitting next to him and then uh, I guess Sigvard must have heard about it or knows about it in some way and uh, traveled because at that point like he like, I'm not exactly sure what it is that you know he's being like doubted or being like getting retribution for it, like from Sigvard but uh, ev evidently that happened so this uh this uh <laughs> you can see it's being held up by the people like the, the profane flame kind of looks like Vendrick's chair actually a little bit with the lion heads kind of in the shul and the things there okay so now we are going to go to Firelink Shrine. And we're going to try to talk to everyone. Oh, how... Okay, Prisoner Good Chiefs. Interest. Passing fine ash thou hast given, let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these... Yeah, no new lore. Uh, let's give them both. Gracious, passing fine ash that let this I own. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So let's see what's new here. We can get a young white branch now, which is cool because you might need those in the future, and that'd be a good way to. stock up on some eastern iron shield I think this probably would have been there before but we didn't read it a thick round metal shield decorated with the unique crest of an eastern land heaviest of the small shields it's impressively weighty and thus able to deflect attacks with ease and now the elite knights uh, helm said to have been given to elite knights of fallen Astora. The mere mention of Astora evokes invokes wistful pangs, and perhaps it was such a dream that drew Henri to this faraway home known only by name. Interesting. So this faraway home being Lothric, I guess, hopefully. Otherwise it would imply that she's never been to Astora. Smo's helm, grotesque armor associated with Smo, the last knight to stand in defense of the ruined cathedral, boasts extremely high defense and can be donned by humans, but not without great difficulty. Carla's pointed hat. Hat of the dark witch Carla, a pointed hat is signature of a heretical sorceress. Carla, however, always kept it close. She likes her hat. This stained coat is torn and odorous, telling of a long journey and even longer imprisonment. It would be madness to wear such a thing. Yellowish overcoat covering a band of brass medallions. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, and the number of medallions denotes their success. A point of pride for the researchers, even if its significance is lost on others. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, and it is said that with golden sorceries, one could manipulate light. Alright, that looks like all there. Ashen one. Um... Ah, what? No words. Will Legion happen upon this cold? The 
this is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Mm. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin. Just like mine. <laughs> well, not my fight, a but... Cursed fate this may be. But hope remains. Does it not? Yeah, I mean, people believe that they will be all taken care of if um, if we extend the Age of Fire. I mean, that's what Anastasia thought, and that's what uh, he's kind of implying, Andre is implying. Um, is there any tomes to give to him? No. Backs up. Oh my. You've Great. made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. A masterful sorcerer, long missed in Vinheim. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hand. Alright, well, let's see what. Homing Soul Mass, sorcery developed by Big Hat Logan, the great sorcerer who left the Dragon School in an age long past. The sorcery may offer a clue as to what Logan sought, but further investigation suggests its attraction to things living mirrors the nature of the dark. So I guess they're aligning uh, dark with um, Logan and the profane capital. Sorcery developed by Big Hat Logan, the great sorcerer who left Dragon School. The spear boasts superior penetrating power and is testament to Logan's strength in battle. Yep. Promise to stay. Wait, actually this should oh. I don't mean to be like Yeah. Well. Um, I don't believe we have any other tomes. Yeah, I just have the four for Carla. Uh, but I'm gonna talk to Yuria first. Just in case. Ah, speak freely, thy lord. Oh Lord, and I prithee. Yeah. When the moment the other gods are no more. Our oh, Lord. Yeah. Be safe. I Ah, there you are. As I said, I am Carla, and am grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Huh. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. I'm fascinated. That wouldn't interest you, would it? Hmm. You're a wicked one, aren't you? It's a little flirty. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. I'm excited to learn. Let it be a secret. Between you and I. Okay, so let's talk to her first. What does she have? She has affinity. It appears to be an expression of envy or perhaps love towards another that will tenaciously pursue its target, even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. That was pretty much um, what it said in Dark Souls 2. Passed from mother to daughter, this blade was intended for both protection and as mean means of taking one's own life. The young girl never swung it more than once. That looks interesting. I see. Yeah, these are just sorceries. There is one thing that you should know. There is a darkness within man, and I am afraid you will peer into it. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection or a ruinous nostalgia is up to you entirely. 
fear not. Your choice will bring you no scorn. There is one thing. Oh, a pyromancy tome, have we? Quelana, witch of Isolith. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well, if this is your wish. I will unravel the thing the best I can. Thank you. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. Hmm, interesting. Oh, another pyromancy tone, have we? And one that resonates with the dog. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lad, you. I got more. There is one. Just checking. Oh, is this a divine tome? What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a divine tome or any so called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. So please. Don't torture me so. Hmm, I thought she took that one. Ah, oh, oh, I know. Fine then. But just this once, mm. I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering, should I err. So can you give the other one now? Ah, oh, oh, I know. Fine then. I'll have no snigger. Okay. Let's see what you got. Primal piracy taught by Quailana, daughter of the Witch of Isolith. The caster manipulates the flames at will, making this an extremely difficult spell to use. Pyromancy is at once the knowledge of controlling flame and the knowledge that control is impossible. Primal py pyromancy taught by Quailana. Um, the raging storm is indiscriminate. Such is the intrinsic horror of the flame. Advanced Pyromancy of Quelana. Uh Charms the enemy, making them a temporary ally. We had, we, I was talking about this in Dark Souls 1. I've never tried this out. And I'd be interested to do that. The enemy, uh, the living are lured by a flame, and this tendency is elemental to the art of Pyromancy. Black Flame. Pyromancy discovered by Grave Wardens after High War Lord Wolnir fell to the Abyss. Creates a giant black flame in hand. Black flames born from the abyss bear no shadow. They are said to be impenetrable fires of humanity. The black flame inflicts dark damage, striking targets with weighty force. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. The third daughter, Lilianne, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. So Lilianne is the prepare or the master in the sable church she's the third daughter uh we know yuria who i will just say is a daughter and then there's a third that we have yet to meet or even read about vow of science silence miracle of the church of londor prevents spells within a vicinity including one's own that's a old that's a velka one members of the sable church are all trained swordsmen each sworn by the only to their weapons as they bear the lead in so silence of Londor. Sacrilegious miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Blessed corpses transforming them into traps. Londor, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead compromised or comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is it such blessing really? Is such blessing really something one must ponder? Deep protection. Miracle taught to inaugurated deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boosts attack, damage, absorption, and resistance while also increasing stamina recovery speed. The Deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. This tale of the Deep offers protection for those who worship amidst these horrors. And there's no dark miracle taught in the Cathedral of the Deep. 
summons insects swarmed on, to feast on foes. These insects, which lurk in the deep, have tiny jaw, jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh in the blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. Yeah, so all of these are miracles. Um, I'm going to hold off buying some of these for now until I have a better plan of what I'm doing. Um, which I plan to do before I go to Lothric. Um, which I guess will be this next episode. So. There is one thing. Okay. Do stay safe. Alright, so finally I got to offload all those. Um, talk to her. We can level up. Um, we just have to read. Oh, we have to. Do we do Aldrich's body here? Ew. Okay, and let's talk to Ludlith of Corland. Aha, that's all. Yeah, we're at Aldrich's. Yorm the Giant. Great machete wielded long ago by Yorm the Giant. Yorm once lumbered on the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left hand notch was added to his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. I suppose that um, shield we found in the Bemic chest is probably Yorm's shield. Never thought about it. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Great shield used by long ago by Yorm increases user's poise. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. So I suppose he probably was in love. I'm gonna buy this, by the way. Okay. And we just have Yorm to go here. Did we read the, the cinders of Yarm? And if so, did we read the soul of Yarm? Yarm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone hard shield. Okay. And I mean, why not? Let's talk to Patches in case he has anything new. Oh, hello again. Can't resist it, can you? Ah, that's good. Yeah, nothing new. And nothing new here. Can't find any. All right. So, and we're coming up on an hour. Didn't think the profane capital would take that long, but I guess there was all the stuff with uh, Carla and stuff in there. So. Welcome home, my sweet. Very well fed. Honestly, I feel like my vigor and endurance are fine for now. Um, I mean, they're low, but like, you know, um, but I'm going to try to incorporate faith somehow. Okay. So I might try to, um, do a whole new build for next time. I might even have a new weapon and everything. So I'll try to like level up and grind and um, or farm and stuff and try to get everything set up so that we can kind of take on Lothric as our final build or whatever. So um, anyway, thanks for watching this episode, this kind of dense episode of uh, Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, 
And I think that will do it. Uh, next time we take on the Dancer and we take on Lothric Castle. So I'll see you at that point. Bye.